Good morning, everybody. Hope you had a great evening. Winter has returned to the South Southern Maine. Supposed to be colder tomorrow. A little warmer up over the weekend, and all that weather that's flowing east of the Mississippi, all those cold temps are supposed to drift west. It is February. It is winter. Uh, no moisture in the forecast, and uh, we do need that to hold down the price of hot red winter wheat. What a night. Uh, yesterday, uh, no Greek deal hits the stock market. Greece has a deal, according to CNBC. Stock market rallies back and closes strong. Um, no Greek deal comes out of the EU. Uh, financials are holding in pretty well. Peace breaks out between Russia and the Ukraine, at least on paper. Equities rally, financials get slammed. So uh, we are subject to new spikes. It's not going to go away. Um, and uh, the doubt is, <clears throat> because a lot of uh, because the peace accord news hasn't gotten to the ground uh, is that the Russian Ukraine uh, guerrilla war will probably continue in some way, shape, or form. So, anyway, for us as traders, you can't trade without at least disaster stops in them. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, yoga. It, you know, it it is absolutely amazing uh, when you look at all that's going on in our country. All the change, all the increased regulation, everything is done to increase costs to, you know, those that are supposedly saved, the uh, middle class. Uh, you look at what's going on in the Middle East. Obama is going to kick ass and take names, but we're not going to put any ground troops on the ground, uh, and we're going to be out of there in three years. We're not, you know, I, I mean, oh, okay, well, I'm the Taliban or Al Qaeda or ISIS or what? I just kind of have to lay low for three years. And, yep. I'll get bombed 10 or 12 times a day by the U.S. and maybe a little more by somebody else. Uh, you know, Jordan, because of uh, shoulder-fired missiles, um, is dropping bombs from 15,000 feet. Now, they're big bombs. They're 2,000-pound bombs, and they are going to take out the intent target. But the circle of error at 15,000 feet is a hell of a lot bigger than the circle of error is at five, six, seven thousand feet, and so you know here we are. It, it's just you know if I were a gorilla or wanted something um, uh, that the United States has um, protected or had interest in, hell, I'd jump up the plate and take it. Not going to get any in. You know, it's kind of like the mouse that roar, roars. Uh, we're going to declare war on the United States, and we're going to lo lose the war, and then they're going to come in and rescue and rebuild our economy. So it's nuts. <clears throat> doesn't make sense at any level. Volume is at 28.11.12. The move really came out of this 28.11.12 area. We've got this structural low here at 128. We've got this 04, 10, volume at 11, volume from yesterday at 11 and a half. So uh, this buck, if we can get through that, then it's not going to be too difficult to get back up to the 8 to 10. And we may have seen the low uh, because of the 30-year auction and because of the magnitude of the selling overnight. You don't move paper in a down market, especially for your paper. So the net cumulative selling is the uh, panel or pane that we're going to be watching a lot on the F4 screen on the uh, tenure to see if uh, the dealers are supporting the market. Overnight news, besides the uh, peace agreement out of Ukraine, uh, Sweden cuts its uh, interest rate to negative tenth. G20 is lockstep together. We are going to borrow money at low interest rates to fund deficit government spending, which is being done to support our economies and put people back to work. Uh, again, they're moving not to work. So, I, I, I mean, it's like we've gone through the uh, looking glass for sure. Jobless claims, 288K will come out when retail sales does. Retail sales is the focus. I cannot get this to work. 
worth a damn this morning. Uh, retail sales, minus a half a percent. Ex autos, minus 0.5. Business inventories, nobody pays any attention to, plus two tenths. And the mat gas inventory, cold, minus 165. So the focus is retail sales, ex autos. And that number, if as forecast, is supportive for financials, not so for the stock index futures. So I think there is one short in the market, 31 to 03. Uh, see if we can take out 27 and a half. We can't take out 27 and a half. It starts back up. We'll be leaning long from there on out. Second sell will be 7 to 11, picking up this area through here. On the uh, buy side, I think we can go lower. May not. We'll just have to see. So we're going to try to buy 21s to 25s, and then 13 to 17. Uh, may have to pay 29s. Don't know just yet. So we got retail sales, ex autos. That's the number one focus. Number two will be job claims. Uh, no one will pay any attention to business inventories, and it's on to the dynamics of moving 30-year paper. I mean, you know, when I look back, <clears throat> and I've we we've lived through some really, 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 really tough time, but uh, assassinations, riots in the streets, cities being burned down. But you never questioned the future. You you fit, you, you know you knew that it uh, it stumbled through. It was good, but uh, the very fabric of society wasn't being torn apart. And right now, all the uh, peace accords since World War II, uh, CPAC. Uh, Middle Asian, a Middle Eastern, um, everything is uh, is up in the air right now. Everything is being played with. Everything's being toyed with. Um, any place you look, uh, you see stuff, you know, coming apart at the seams, and it, it's not a comforting, um, not a cutting feeling. You know, where does it stop? Can it be stopped? Okay, 4602, 4606. We've got this low over six, so pretty good resistance at two to six. Then pretty much 11 to 16, that's where the areas are. On the support side, 21 to 25. To move the 30-year paper, I think the uh, knob spread will be supported today, so I don't think the 30-year will sell as much quickly as the 10-year um, if the market does continue to sell. There's a pretty good chance the low is in after this kind of selling last night and the 30-year option today. On the sell side, one to five, that's where resistance is. I think it's worth one shot to see if we can retest the bottom of value in that uh, uh, 20, 24, 28 area. Uh, then 11 to 6, 15 will be sell, too. <clears throat> well, one of the neat things for us is, is that we understand the short side of the market. Think of everybody out there that doesn't have the opportunity. Uh, to go short. It doesn't even understand it. doesn't know how to play the short side of the market. You know, go buy me some shorts. Um, you know, how do you, you can only do well and prosper in good economic times. Right now you're looking at negative interest rates. Where do you go park your money and even get paid anything on it? And it's that low interest rate that enables Wall Street and very, very wealthy people to uh, play the, the spread between something and make more than that. Borrow low, uh, get a higher return, book book the difference in the spread. Uh, the Fed's going to when they're going to raise interest rates. Uh, for the middle class person, CDs, bonds, notes, whatever it is, trying to get some income that you've saved money for, it, it's a tough deal. It is a tough deal. And all this political rhetoric, um, if you open your eyes and know what's going on, it's, it's not for you. OK, gold. Um, yesterday, we uh, thought we had a pretty good selling, 25 to 27, and basically 30, um, 30 and up. So we had 25 to 30 was our sell zone. We make it up to 33 overnight. 
and, and again, there's so many whipsaws and stuff going on that uh, uh, nobody's going to dump their physical gold in this. Central banks will sell it and take it down, and that'll be a buying opportunity for the retail account. And you can see that in a spread between coins and bullions. It, it's high. People want gold and silver because of what their governments are doing. So here's our 20 area. 18 to 20 is buy one. It's for support. Last night we wanted to get in at 15 to 17. We'll move it up a little bit. Uh, then we'll make a 13 to 15 for buy two. I, I just can't see, you know, go selling off because of peace in the Ukraine. 25, 27, sell one. And then 30, 32 for sell two. I think Russia's got, they diffuse Europe. They keep the United States and the EU at bay, and then they go do exactly what they want. Low level, <clears throat> low intensity fighting. Ukraine doesn't have the resources. Russia doesn't have the resources to go in and take over the Ukraine, but they don't have to. Uh, the United States <clears throat> brought this destabilization on in a great many ways. Uh, some of the, uh, the, the sheer idiocy that was involved in stirring up this and bringing it to the fight. It doesn't make sense from any standpoint. Uh, you know, rhetorically, you're going to get these people to revolt, and you're not going to support them. You're going to encourage it, but you're not going to support them. And that's exactly what them. And the Ukrainian paying the price, unfortunately. OK, crude oil. Uh, this uh, 48 to 49 area is brought in buying 50. Uh, to 51 and a half is brought in selling. We're at 50 right now. So 50 to 75, sell one. 51, 51 and a quarter, sell two. I have no idea um, how high this market can really, really go. I do know because of overproduction and contracting world economy that the market will be sold. And we'll make 48.25 to 50. Um, our buy zone. So uh, again, it looks like we're trying to consolidate here. It's trying to hold. And uh, <clears throat> when the um, second wave of selling doesn't come in, some of these traders on a day trade basis will cover their shorts and the back in. And uh, that's where the uh, support has come from short covering from shorter term traders. Large long term specs that can't deliver in probably are sidelined. Doesn't mean they're not leaning short, but they can't deliver in. Okay, looking at the top of this on the EU, this thirteen fifty is a sell zone for us, sell one, seventy five, sell two, nothing that the EU does with Greece will help the value of the euro, in my opinion. Um, the we'll make it five fifteen for buy one, and then seventy five to eighty five for buy two. Uh, the European Union has kicked the can down the road till Monday when they're going to have the full European Council meet and discuss what's going on with Greece. Greece has said they will not accept any deal, which from a bargaining standpoint is exactly how you're going to play this hand. But when it comes time to whip out the old checkbook and pay government officials, and which the Greek economy is heavily dependent upon, the European Union has the checkbook, and they will probably acquiesce. Uh, European bank exposure to Greece is 330 billion euros. That's a bunch. And uh, <clears throat> the um, that will be cut down over time, in my opinion. But not on Monday. Uh, they'll extend the debt before it goes, uh, they'll, uh, generous uh, repayment terms, 
uh, they will get enough money to uh, pay their current bills, and then they'll keep talking. And if you're um, uh, <clears throat> in uh, your situation, it's a good way to bargain. Okay, we are so close to this high up here, peace in Russia, peace. in the Ukraine, uh, it wouldn't be hard to get there, especially after yesterday's spike. Uh, when you look at the news and what's going on, it's not that bullish. So our 78 to 80 is going to be sell one. Uh, 84 to 86 is going to be sell two, leaning against this high right here. Uh, the breakout came from 70. Uh, we're at 76, so 70, 72 by one. And 65, 67 by two. 6567 was recent resistance. It's probably pretty good support. We like the number two. We are rejecting prices above 78. We've got this tail right here. Um, I mean, looking at the news myself, I don't see anything that euphoric out there. But again, the moves start off of algorithms that read the headlines. They don't read the body of it. They don't consider anything but the headlines. So bullish headlines rally the market. Bearish headlines take it down until the Fed stops in and stop, steps in and stops the selling. Okay, take at least 20 minutes to get everything up and going. Lots of news out last night. We went a little bit behind.